The latest edition of Charlie Hebdo flew off French newsstands Wednesday morning. It's the first edition since last week's terror attacks. As early as 6.30 a.m. local time, it was difficult to find copies on the few newsstands open in Paris. I'm so glad the French people are standing up for liberty and supporting Charlie Hebdo. You know, Americans, we kind of make fun of France a little bit every now and then, but this time the right thing has really happened. Meanwhile, France cracking down on so-called hate speech. 54 people have now been arrested across the nation, with none of those people believed to be connected to the actual newspaper attacks. The controversial French comedian known as Doudonnet, who has been accused numerous times of anti-Semitism, was arrested Wednesday for comments he made on his Facebook page. God damn it. In a stunning display of meat-fisted hypocrisy, the French government has started sending out the SWAT teams and rounding people up for saying things that make other people feel bad. Now, it's difficult to find information on the individual cases, so I'm going to focus on the comedian Doudonnet, because that's where I have the most to work with. And bear with me, because I can't pronounce French words. Or English words, apparently. Doudonnet was arrested for posting, Tonight, as far as I'm concerned, I feel like Charlie Calibre on his Facebook page. This is apparently a reference to Amada Calibre, an acquaintance of the gunman who murdered most of the Charlie Hebdo magazine staff, who ultimately went on to take hostages in a grocery store and kill four people before being gunned down by police. Obviously, that joke was in bad taste. Doudonnet has a long history of controversial humor, mocking people of various religious backgrounds and the concept of religion itself. Also, he created this weird, creepy reverse Nazi salute gesture. He says it's an anti-establishment symbol that has nothing to do with Nazism, but I don't know. I'm a pretty anti-establishment kind of guy, and there's no way in hell I'd walk around doing that. On a brief tangential note, please stop it with the Guy Fox masks. It's 2015. V for Vendetta wasn't that great of a movie, and the point of the gunpowder plot was to institute a Catholic monarchy. There's nothing to celebrate there. Get over it. Anyway... Doudonnet does seem to have a chip on his shoulder where Jewish people are concerned. Je veux savoir ce qu'il ne faut pas oublier. Mais que les Juifs ont souffert, putain de merde! Ils ont souffert, les Juifs, merde! For years, he's been making a name for himself by making controversial statements about the Jews. <laughs> I can't see into Doudonnet's heart, so I don't know if he's genuinely anti-Semitic. These remarks and actions are all taken mostly out of context. Humor is very subjective under the best of circumstances, and controversial political humor is easy to misread. But more importantly, under these circumstances, I don't much care if Doudonnet is genuinely anti-Semitic or not. He's never actually hurt anyone, and at least in the case of this specific arrest, he hasn't gone as far as to threaten or advocate violence. For the French government to stoop to this kind of police state behavior just a few days after the Charlie Hebdo shootings is a disgrace. But I sure can see why they're worried. But in Europe, authorities say that protests against Israel are increasingly taking on a hateful, anti-Semitic tone. <laughs> Attacks in Paris have only heightened fears that anti-Semitism is on the rise in France, prompting some Jews to consider moving to Israel. The possibility is deeply troubling to France's prime minister. Anti-Semitism has been on a long, slow upswing in Europe, and the recent violence in France has everyone on edge. It's a powder keg waiting for a fuse, and you almost can't blame the French government for overreacting. But just as they once showed the world how not to revolt against aristocracy and establish a limited government, France is now a brilliant, shining example of how not to fight bad ideas. 
The French have been trying to outlaw anti-Semitism since at least the 90s. But this only leads to the persecution of artists and journalists. You can't ban thoughts, whispered conversations, and sideways glances. Passing a law doesn't magically make things that offend you go away. If you don't believe me, take a look at the results of the war on drugs. <laughs> Dudenay is going to become a martyr to people with anti-Semitic mindsets, and some people who are on the fence will go to his side. Protecting freedom is like fighting in a phalanx. Your shield protects the man standing next to you, and only by keeping a tight pattern is the formation effective. When it comes to freedom of speech, the outliers with seemingly weird or crazy opinions are the most important people to defend. A few of them are right, and they change the world. The ones who are genuinely crazy or wrong eventually get argued into irrelevance. But this jackbooted behavior by the French government will only delay that happening with this new wave of European anti-Semitism.